All right, welcome back, everybody. This is Mr. New Vegas here, and today we're going to be playing the Spirit. Now, I guess the preference. I haven't played with the Spirit, uh, not one bit. <laughs> not one bit have I touched her. Have I played out with her? No, I mean I've touched her to get blood. Well, you know, to go through her blood web. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of a uh, interesting time. I got all of her teachables so yeah i don't have anything i don't have any cosmetics or anything for her because i don't know I, I never played her and i don't know how good she is but she recently received a buff around a week ago and i think she's gonna get another buff after if the ptb does go through so yeah <laughs> so let me show you what we're running with today so i got very lucky very lucky the first perk i actually got on her was barbecue and chili. So we got barbecue and chili, tier three. So basically hook somebody. Each person is worth a stack, up to four stacks, and I get more blood points every time I hook somebody. And I get to see their the person's the other player's outlines, their aura, but only if they're outside of a 40 meter range. Then we have Hex Haunted Ground. This was the next one I actually got up to. And uh, Hex Haunted Ground Two trapped hex totems will spawn in the trial. When one of the two trapped hex totems is cleansed by a survivor, all survivors suffer from the exposed status effect for 60 seconds. Very nice. The only problem is, um, I don't really like hex totems, so this is something I would have to hope that maybe I get somebody in front of me, and as soon as I'm almost about to hit them, someone breaks it. But it'll correlate with something in a second. And then we have Rancor, Tier 3. You become obsessed with one survivor. Each time a generator is completed, the obsession sees your aura for 3 seconds. Each time a generator is completed, all survivor's locations are revealed to you for 3 seconds. Once all generators are completed, the obsession has the exposed status effect, and the killer can kill the obsession. So it's like having a Green Mori and Myers Tier 3. Or heck, or... What is it? Like a uh, node and a mori on the on the obsession. So I'll save the obsession to last, unless you know they're being annoying and I or I catch them outright so many times. Then the last one, yeah, I know, hex ruin, only tier one. Okay, so it only affects two people. Now the reason why I'm taking it, even though it's crap, it makes those two people who maybe are not so good at the game go looking for a totem those two people hey guess what i found the totem oh my gosh you know and there there's a percentage chance that they'll most likely find hex on the ground because it spawns two totems and they're trapped so i'm gonna be kind of happy if they end up destroying that one instead of the hex ruin and yeah so that's the entire reason why i'm taking ruin i could probably take something better like the thing is i don't have really anything better as i was leveling up I don't really have anything. Whisper sucks at 48 meters. I guess Bloodhound isn't too bad, but I need to run a... What is it? Run a certain perk, or run an, a certain add-on to see their blood when I go into her Spirit Fury. I guess Sloppy Butcher, so then they have to heal a little bit longer, but... I don't know. I'm gonna go at Ruin first. If it gets worse, I may change it to... Sloppy Butcher, but we'll see. Now, the add-ons. I don't really know what's that good. So I'm going to be testing over a few days, but this is the first game you guys are going to see of me playing her, so we're going to go easy, I guess. So, I don't know. I'm going to mispronounce it. Zori? Zori? Slightly increases Yamamoto's ha haunting movement speed, so when you're in the uh, Spirit Fear, you go a little bit faster. Then, you, uh, Chiwa, Chiawa's Amulet? I don't know. Slightly increases Yamamoto's haunting duration. So not only do I get a little bit faster, but the duration is a little bit longer as well. And then we're just putting in, uh, it's not even Chinese or Japanese, Tanager Reed. I already say that. So I hope you all enjoy and hopefully it turns out well. Uh, first game. I think no matter what, if I lose or I don't lose, if it's a really bad game and I get my butt handed to me, you just see at the end me just being depressed. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah. So I'll see you all in. All right, so let's hope this all goes well. A little bit nervous. Never played as a spirit. Ugh, rotten feuds. Well, form blindness is a real thing. There's one totem. There's another. All right. Imagine wagons is my obsession. 
All right, so I don't know if I want to necessarily use this right off the bat. Ah, hello, Claudette. How do I get back here? All right, that's pretty cool. That's not too bad, I guess. So what you gonna do, Claudette? What are you going to do? There's that dude. Okay, so I'm kind of liking her. I'm kind of liking it. It's not too bad. Okay, wow, that was Jen already done. Holy fudge. Let's go over here. Go over where little Dwighty is. Wait, got stuck on a tree. I probably could have got a hit. Dwight, don't do that. Okay, <laughs> I saw her. I was like, ooh. So what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Do you have what I think you have? Oh, she wasn't paying attention, so that's nice. Probably gonna go to the pallet. Dang it. So what are you gonna do, girl? Uh. Bloodlust. Oh, that was my ruin, too. Alright, I'm just gonna get rid of this. I'm not gonna be able to get it that way. Oh, wait. Or was that my... She juked me. Was that my... It was my Hex Haunted Crown. Oh, well, that sucks. I'm so used to just saying, oh exposed when I'm a survivor well it's not going great I will say that uh, it could be going better but to be honest the hex counted ground it's gonna be gone right now so you know kind of sucky all right where's everybody right over there okay yeah I'm not gonna be able to get to them in time Yeah, just ran out. Alright, come here, you joy. Oh. I hate the turns that this Dwight makes. No, no, Dwight. You ran into me. It wasn't gonna work. I like how most survivors end up doing that. Come on, Dwight. Go on. Oh, okay then, Dwight. I'm fine with this. Alright, so probably Decisive Strike. Oh no, Rancor. Decisive Strike? Yeah, Decisive Strike. I'm fine with it. Alright, come here, Dwighty. Surprise, boy. You didn't go for it. Thought he was gonna go in there. Thought I could've did that little jukey thing that killers do nowadays. Come here, Dwight. No pallet for a little bit. Jesus. Yeah, just no map pressure at the moment. Oh, a dead heart. Very nice, Dwight. But not nice enough. I want my stacks, Dwight. 
I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten you yet, so. Jesus, man. That duration, though. Wow. That goes by so freaking fast. I, I saw you all go around here. But I don't know which one of you I haven't gotten yet. It's the problem. Nia. Come back here, Nia. Although it's already up again, so... Right the other way. Come on, Nia. Come over here. Just gonna put you on a little hook. There we go. Probably gonna finish a gen soon. No one's on dead hook yet, so. A little bit of an issue at the moment. Oh, I knew this was gonna happen. First game was never gonna be that good. That's how it was with Huntress the first time I played her. Was terrible, man. Just terrible. Alright. I need to get that Dwight eventually. Freaking box blocked him and then I got blocked by the box. No Dwight, no. Oh Dwight. You messed up for a second. So what are you gonna do Dwight? What are you going to do? Ah! You didn't use it, Joy. You didn't use it. <clears throat> Alright. He does got a target on his back, so... I guess that's fine with me. Actually... Like, how did he get off of my grasp? Oh, he had adrenaline. No wonder. No freaking wonder. Go ahead, drop it. It's gonna matter. I'll get you. You're hurt, Dwight. He's hurt. He's bleeding. And I somehow missed him. Alright, Dwight. Goodbye. The first Mori for her, too. And a uh, close up of another area. I didn't. I totally forgot. Yeah, adrenaline works when you're on the killer's grass. Can you imagine that? If, like, you drop the survivor if they had adrenaline, that'd be terrible if it was just, like, decisive strike. Oh my god. I'd cry. I'd cry every time. It would be terrible. To be honest, that would be terrible. And in there you go. Three... Was that... No, it wasn't three. Not too bad, I guess. Chase is max, though. I chased a lot. That was not too bad of a game. Yeah. Rancor, dude. Rancor. Not too bad. Alright. I mean... She's fun. But I don't know. So I may change out the loadout um, slightly. Uh, I don't really know what to use what though. All right, so we'll be back in one second. All right, so pretty much I'm keeping the same build, but this time I'm going to put the jigsaw piece as a offering, and I'm keeping the Dory, and I'm keeping and I'm using a gifted bamboo cone. Yes, it was. Oh Jesus. Well, this is going to be fun. <clears throat> it was not good last game either. I'm not going to show it. It was terrible. Uh, the only thing that was able to save me was that gosh darn Rancor. I don't know. I, I hate it when people do this, but I don't know. Maybe it might be well. I mean, I'm going to be in close range of everybody, so 
at least be able to keep hitting people. It's just that I need to keep leveling her up just so I get more stuff, but it's going to take me forever, man. Forever. I don't know. I, I just don't feel that I want to put a buttload of time into Spirit. I still feel like, I don't know. I, I've been watching videos of Huntress. I just want to, oh, I want to play more of Huntress. But it's going to take a lot of time just to be able to, to play her properly. So I don't know. Now, I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is a little kind of in-between kind of thing. Uh, depending on how this game goes. I mean, I'll probably post it anyways. Uh, just for gosh darn. And the, I mean, the nice part is, you know, at least they're not instants. Like, you know, the uh, brand new part used to be. Like the first iteration of it. Second iteration, not too bad. But still, oof. This the latest in, uh, iteration. Eh, it's all right, but it just depends. I think the best part about back then is just people that use the brand new part, and there was ruin, so they end up messing it up. That was funny. <laughs> all right, so three hex totems. Ooh, Jesus! What the heck was that? So three hex totems. Already? Holy Jesus. Oh, the lag. What's going on? Why do you go back? Is there something you know, Claw, that you're not telling me? Alright. So they all have... They all have, basically, boxes. So they should be... I would, I would think that they would all want to go... You know, they're all so close by, huh? Or they're behind hooks or gens. I'm just gonna. Oh, dead guy. I thought it was actually. Really? That's some bold, bold stuff to do. I don't wanna chase her, but I think she did go this way. The other one. I can hear her, but I don't want to go after her. Hey! You're my Rancor. My obsession. Come back here, obsession. Heck no, why would I do that? You gonna jump down there too? That'd be pretty awesome if you did. But you did. Okay. Alright, one hook. Gen. Those are not good trades. Oh, thank God. I mean, I don't even know if you do have decisive. I mean, there's the possibility she just doesn't, but you just never know sometimes. Someone ran over here. Oh, it's a Claudette that's hurt. Claudette. Stop dancing with me. Oh, that was a fast heal. Yeah, we'll make it then. There you are, love it. Alright. Surprisingly, everything's still up for right now. It's kind of weird. Alright. No, I think now they've begun to look for everything now. Which I think at the moment is the best thing they can do. But why do I keep running into you? Because you are the other Claudia I keep running into. No. Hey, you're right next to another hook. I gotta remember, don't hook her again. Because she's gonna be moriable once the last gen is done. Look, some gold over there, okay. Please don't let go either. I actually want to get that Mori. Someone's around here. Oh, that's about it. A new challenger has approached. I lost her. Oh, she let herself go. No fun. 
Jake, I have not hooked you yet. Alright, Jakey. Come on over here to receive your spankings. Is he still in here? Jake. Or did he just run and I just didn't see him? I think he got out. No, he did not. Take that back. Well, I have a useless perk now. Mm. And to be honest, when it's Ruin, hey, it's just Ruin Tier 1, too. Kick this dead. Gotta try to have some pressure. Okay, then. Jake. Alright. Jake, I'm gonna hit you, but I'm gonna leave you. Because I feel kind of bad. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to do that. I don't understand why people do that a whole lot. It just doesn't make sense to me. Alright, so we got the Jake back up. I'm fine with that. I'll go ahead and put you in here. If she has decisive, it's gonna suck, but she didn't. They're right nearby, too, because this is where nearby down the Jake. Yep. Scratch marks here. Jake, please. Okay, good. I'm gonna say I would have felt real bad if that was the Jake. Oh. If it's the Jake, I'm probably just gonna leave him. See the problem is I was gonna say it ended right there so abruptly. Yeah. Alright, Jake. I gave you plenty of warning. Come over here and receive thy spank. for it. Dang it. I thought he was going to fall for it. I'm not like those YouTubers, man. I can't do that, man. Jakey, just, just come back here. Unless you have... Which you don't. Okay. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Four gens left. Oh my goodness. Alright. Where's the other ones at? I don't know. Alright. One above me. Oh, there's one here. Scratch marks, Meg. Scratch marks. <sighs> Alright, where's the last one at? Yeah, let's see here. Alright. Go ahead and hit this. The only thing she could really do now is if she completes a gen, she has a chance if Meg, you know, lets herself go. Where are you going for the cheeky save? She was probably in the other locker, let's be honest. Oh no, this is the way she took. I swear to God, if you are in that other locker... Okay, good. You actually left. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm the dumb one here now. <laughs> I was just gonna say, dude. I mean, if they're honestly hiding there...
Oh, I need to go search generators now. That one's not active. Probably help if I had another headphone on too, so I could hear. <laughs> Meg. Should have healed, dude. Oh, hello. Oh. Ooh. Scratch mark. Oh, I thought I saw scratch marks. Claudette, stop running. Stop running, Claudette. Just throw it down. I know you're going to. Ow, fudge. I didn't think you were going to do that. I thought you wanted to be friends, Claude. Alright, where'd you go? Ran down. Alright. Is that a dead end? Yep. I don't think she healed enough. Alright, well, it doesn't really matter, anyways. <laughs> oh my goodness. No. Alright, Claude. Alright, come here. I wanted to get that Mori, but I guess they just didn't want to do chance. Put over here. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of shocked. Kind of shocked that uh, you know they didn't find or they they ran past a totem or two. I'm just surprised they just didn't try to actually. I mean, I'm gonna guess they probably did try to go for it, but you know. Oh, Meg, if you make it. Is May going for the gold? Is she gonna find it? She might. She actually might. You give her. Oh no, there she is. Okay. Well, she's right there anyway, so. I know a general area where she's at. Go ahead. Did he drop? Yeah, he dropped this one. Just uh, <laughs> grinding a little bit more points. <laughs> Kick this in? Did not. Okay. Alright, Meg. Your spankings are here. Oh, she went another way. Ooh, ooh. If I don't find her. Like, I don't mind if she finds the hatch. Get on her, she crawled. I just don't know, dude. Oh. Come on, Meg. Come on. I would normally. Oh, that's right. Why? I'm dumb. Yeah, the hatch wouldn't even spawn, anyways. You want? You want? You want it? Do you want it? I'll give it to you. You can't get out, anyways. I'll let you destroy it. Do you get a thousand points if you still destroy the uh, that part? Are you actually gonna run, Meg? I'm giving you points. You can't get out. You have to do a full gen. You're hurt. You don't have iron will. I think she actually thinks she can actually escape. I mean, it's adorable, but it's a farce, mate. It's a farce. You're not going to be able to make it out. Alright, well, I wanted to give you points. I mean... You know, there was a one in three chance. It was, well, a two out of a three. Two out of, I don't know. A certain percentage you would have either gotten a higher percentage of destroying Hex on the ground, a very small percentage of destroying Ruin. Either way, I think you get a thousand points. I mean, Ruin, yeah, I know you get a thousand points, but I don't know the other thing. All right, so that wasn't too bad. I mean, I think the spirit, well, like most other killers anyways, especially her though. Oh my goodness gracious. You serious? <laughs> Lol. Alright, all perks. Seriously. 
three engineering toolboxes. Now, I mean, one of them didn't have any attachments. The other two had some, eh, ones. And a uh, worn out tools, wow. Wow. <laughs> that was, uh, that was definitely interesting. I will tell you that for sure. All right, so I'd like to thank you all for watching. That's been pretty fun so far. Um, the spirit is definitely interesting, but I think, you know, like most other killers, you need a decent map. So I don't know. I don't know really what to think of her. I don't want to give an uh, opinion yet. I guess an opinion right off the bat, she's interesting, and you definitely have to play her quite a bit to learn. Um, her movement speed, her lunges, and whatnot. Using that power is interesting, but I definitely would have liked it, the version that came in the P2B. So the P2B that had her in it made it so then she had the effect of the father's glasses. Survivor's blood trails are visible when using Yamamoto's haunting. Now I have four of them, but I'm not good at her yet to even attempt to try to use it. And I think that would have been pretty good as her baseline. I think that would have made her a much better killer, especially... Because, I mean, I know that you can use... Uh, Nurse's Calling would be pretty good. I mean, you can't see them... I don't think you can see them heal when you're in her Spirit Fury. But if you had Sloppy Butcher to make the blood more prominent. Or, I mean, Bloodhound. And then if Sloppy Butcher to have it harder for them to heal. You know, it's pretty good. I know people use Strider on her because, you know, it's louder. And, um... Yeah. So, I, I think that'd be a pretty good combo. I wouldn't mind doing that once I get her to a high enough level. The only problem is, I only have 10 levels to play with until she hits 50. I'll try to play her a little bit more here and there, but to be honest, I'm playing a little bit more of the Huntress. I want to play more of her, and I definitely want to learn more of her before I want to play another killer. Um, I mean, she's pretty good. She's definitely a lot more playable than Freddy. That's saying something. <laughs> so, I don't know. Maybe one of these days we'll play as Freddy, too. The nice meme himself. Oh, poor Freddy. I honestly want a buff for him. I want a huge buff for him. I think that Freddy could honestly be an amazing killer. If they, It's just that they would have to not totally rework him 100%, but they'd have to make some massive buffs. Massive. I have a couple ideas, but I don't know. I'd have to jot them down and see how well they look on paper, but I don't know. Yeah, so I, I hope you all enjoy. Spirit... Not a bad killer. Not a bad killer at all. Uh, would I tell you to buy her? Eh, it's up to you. Her perks are pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. I I would have just bought the DLC. I wouldn't even care if I didn't get her, if I was just able to get the her perks. Her perks are pretty gosh darn good. Rancor is pretty awesome. Hex on the ground, I've been waiting for a perk like this for a long time. Having hex totems, now you could run an entire hex build, and it could actually be pretty fun. You know, you could run hex on the ground, node uh, what's another hex totem with uh, thrill of the hunt and uh, maybe huntress's lullaby or hex of thirty or whatever other hex totems there are that's pretty cool i hope that a couple more hex totems comes out but the problem is honestly i want them to make it a little bit longer to destroy totems if not just hex totem normal totems are fine hex totems i want them to get destroyed at a slower pace. And I know they're slower now, but I don't know. Yeah, are they slower now? I don't know. I don't think they've ever changed it, actually. So. Or maybe put more totems on them. I don't know. <laughs> I'd like to see different stuff be played around with, but anyways. That's yeah, for another video. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I kind of enjoyed playing as it. And, um, yeah. If you want to see more, I, I, there's a playlist on the channel. Go ahead and check it out. Got a, quite a bit of others. It's a lot of Survivor stuff, but I'll be diversing it a little bit more by playing different killers and Survivors. Uh, I mainly need to level up different... Well, everybody. Uh, don't ask me about Nurse. I'm not going to play her for a long time. I'd rather play Freddy than Nurse. Alright? I'd rather go through that torture. Maybe in the future, maybe I'll play Nurse. But yeah... And then with the new um, the new stuff coming out soon for the Halloween event, I hope you all participate in that. God knows I will. It's going to be awesome. So, again, I said in third time, fourth time, I don't know. Everybody have a good day. Thank you for watching. 
and I will see you all when I scratch my butt. <laughs> Kidding. All right. See y'all later, everybody.